Hello, Sam Brandon. What brings you here so frequently? Do you not like it in heaven? Well, the boss called me up the other day and he said that our followers are dwindling. So he said, I'm going to put you onto the young lad, to Jesus. He's, he's very trendy and he's going to talk to you. So Jesus comes on anyway and he says to me, he says to me, you have to become an influencer for heaven. What's that, says I? And he says, well, you have to grow your brand. Grow your brand. Well, I can grow a beard all right. So maybe that's what he, why he picked me. And what else does he want you to do? Well, he says I have to build my online presence. So I built a few little wooden boats over there and I suppose they make great presents for, for children and maybe I'll sell them. I suppose that's what he's on about. And then he says to me, he says, you have to influence people and to follow them. Follow them. Sure, I followed some people around town yesterday and I was lucky I wasn't arrested. But I suppose it's not all bad news because I've made contact with a gentleman in Nigeria and he's going to send me five million dollars. Five million, it's a long story. Apparently, I have the same name as his client who died and he has to get the money out of the country and I just have to send him over some money first of all to, to get the, the ball rolling and then everything will be great. And I suppose you could say I'm a blogger now. What I do is I, I watch television all day to find things to write about. But you might help me with this. I've been waiting for that lad Donald Trump to, to do some tricks with his horse or to take out his lasso and start catching things. Uh, I don't understand that, Sam Brendan. Uh, well, I heard people saying he was the greatest cowboy of all time. 